Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to attempt a rescue of Melkel Kerman who is stranded in orbit above Kerbin. I've already tried once and failed and it was just a big fiasco, it didn't work out, it was a lot of trial and error. So I just scratched the whole thing and we're starting over from scratch. I'm going to use this ship right here which is a slightly altered version of the one I just tried to get into orbit and to rescue him so it's time for a little time compression. I'll see you in orbit. Okay, that clearly didn't work, um, so we're just going to... Uh, uh, change up the, these things a little bit. Okay, ejection force 450. We need something with bigger, with uh, more ejection force. So just throw on, we had six. Throw on a bunch of these guys. And we were using the smaller boosters. Well, they're more the medium sized boosters. Let's make sure those are aligned properly. Which I don't know if they are. It's kind of hard to tell. That looks like it's prop. No, it still looks like it's a little off to this side. Does that look good? I gotta make sure they're attached to the, you know, the what's it called, the decouplers and not to the actual fuel tank itself. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, this is take two of this episode. This is actually like take six or seven if we're counting all my failures. Alright, we are in orbit with about a little less than half of our fuel tank here and all of our RCS thrusters. We have all, these are not science capsules, they are RC, or monopropellant tanks, so our RCS thrusters we can use a lot if we need to. So now the trick is going to be plotting an intercept course with Melkal Kerman. Now, I tried this before. Not that good at it quite yet. What I think I need to do is let's, um... Let's see, descending node. Let's let's go right here and try to add a maneuver. We, we need to get... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um... Hmm. See these two red, uh, red node markers right there? We need to get those to touch each other, basically, because one of them is where he is at any at, at an instant, and one, the other one is where I am at an instant. And this maneuver is not going to do it. I think I'm going to need to do it over here. So, like, right now, the orange ones intersect one. That's where he'll be, and that's where I'll be. That's where he'll be, that's where I'll be. We need to change this to get them closer together. And it looks like what I'm going to need to do is... Not like that. Intersect 1, intersect 2. Those... no, those aren't... No, those don't need to be close together. It's the other ones that need to be close together. Huh, this is not going to be as easy as I thought. So, I'm going to do some time compression right now, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think I have a good a good course plotted. Um, it took a bit of a, a bit of finagling, but I think what I basically need to do is swing myself around the planet because that will I'll be slowed. You know, when I'm when I'm moving away from the planet near the apoapsis, I'll be slowed down, and then I'll speed up when I get over here. And then when we get close to each other, 
what I'm going to have to do is burn retrograde to slow my speed down because I'll be moving fast then and try to make it so we're moving at the same speed and then I could either, depending on how far away we are from each other, burn towards him or use my RC RCS thrusters to man maneuver in that direction. So I'm going to try that and we're going to see if this is going to work. We're, we're approaching our, our node in about five minutes here, you know, without the time compression, of course. So let's just slow this down. We're going to try to make sure that this is, that we do this correctly. And I have plenty, I think I, I have, like I said, I showed you before, I have about half a fuel tank left. So I have a little bit of, of leeway in terms of, you know, um, burning. I, I can, I can waste a little here, waste a little there. I want to, I want to call it wasting, but if I have to make another attempt, I, I can, I can make, give it a go. And cut it. Okay, let's get rid of that maneuver, and see it, we're, we're close. We're close. Now, if I burn prograde, it'll get me closer. Okay, there we go. Bam, there we go. Okay, that's real close. It says 5.9 kilometers, so let's speed this up. And speed it up a little more. Now he's catching up with me because I'm going slower. And then as we zoom around to the other side of the planet, we're going to get closer and closer and closer and closer together. And according to this, we're going to be 5.9 kilometers apart at one point. So let's get to about that point, and then we'll slow it down. Well, that is real close. So let's... Uh Let's go over here. Now my target is going to show me where the target... There he is, right there. So I think I need to burn retrograde to get closer to him. Yeah, that's my speed in relation to him, so I want to slow that down so I'm not moving up... See, now I'm moving away from him. I want to slow it down so I'm not moving away from it at all, and I still have few left, so we're good. This seems to be good, where we're, our speed is dropping off. And what should happen at some point is I should start moving closer to him. There we go, now we're moving prograde, which moving, which means we're, we're, we're shooting towards him. So let's uh, get that up a little bit, so we're moving towards... Mel Cal Kerman right now. I mean, he's 6,500 kilometers, or not kilometers, that would be really far, uh, meters away from me. But we are, we are gaining on him, so let's take a look at our orbital map now. And as you can see, this is our closer, now our intersect point's way out here, when, uh, no, that's intercept point one, intercept point two is what that is. We're just, we're just gonna focus on this right now. We just need to get this closer, so now if I burn prograde, Towards him. Looks like we're going to have a closer intercept point over here, so I don't want to do that too much because we are gaining on him, so I'm going to do a little bit more time compression as I move towards him as we get closer together, and uh, I'll be back in just uh, a few minutes.
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go now. I had a couple close encounters with him. I wasn't really prepared on what to do though because I'd never gotten that close before. So where and I'm gonna and I just ran out of fuel actually. So I'm gonna turn on my RCS thrusters, and I'm gonna use them to try to move me towards him. So this is this little indicator right here is uh, the direction of my target, who, which is right there. So what I need to do is get him as close as I can and then slow down, basically. So let's try to get him to under a thousand. See now, now he's moving away that way. So this is not that's not good. Let's um, now we need to try to catch up to him. Man, am I never ever not good at this? So let's point ourselves. This where is the indicator for his direction of travel? Uh, I don't know. Is it gone? Surface orbit. It keeps unsetting him as my target for some reason. I, I'm close to him. I am close. It's just I'm having trouble getting to him. As our orbits, you know, are slightly different, it's more and more difficult to um, to to you know maintain the the distances right now. And I have a ton of RCS fuel, so I don't mind burning it. It's just I wish I didn't have to like this. Yeah, it's like ever so slowly changing my my speed towards him. That is the, the, the rate of closure between me and him. Right now, he's moving away from me at that speed. And I want to make sure we're moving towards each other. What I should try to shoot for is try to move towards each other at, like, less than 10 meters per second, maybe. That seems like it would be a, a good speed. How's my mono propellant doing? Yeah, look, I'm still at 78%. Although my electrical charge is, is basically gone. I'm for the most part, out of electricity, which is bad. And it's slowly getting worse. My the situation is slowly getting worse. Oh, man. Okay, um... Well... I'm out of power, but I can still use my RCS thrusters. And I can't... It doesn't look like they have enough oomph to get me back into a, um... Well, actually, it says I'm... No, that's intersect 1, and that's intersect 2. Which means I'm not... That's See, intersect 2 is over here while intersect 1... Or is that intersect 1 and 1? I can't really tell. I'm actually... Am I gaining on him? I am gaining on him! Let's uh, speed that up a little. So we are... See, I, I'm just, I'm so bad at this. So bad at it. Like, we're close to each other, and I really wish I could, like, go grab him. What if I just pointed my, my frickin' capsule at him? And, and burned off that way. And by burned, I mean thrusted. Uh, is it, is it that one? Yeah, there we go. There's different controls for the thrusters, for the, the RCS thrusters and everything else, so just try and do... Trying to get close to him. It just says. Oh god! And it looks like he's still moving away from me. He is int. He's he. Where we're close to each other. Let's see if I speed this up, will we get closer or further apart? He's getting further apart. See, I'm, I'm, these things are flopping around because Intersect 1 and Intersect 2 are so close to each other. What if I... Okay, I gotta try to get them closer together, so... Let's point, retrograde, see if we can get them closer together. Whew, this is not easy. I'm not very good at this. Not good at this at all. See, we're trying to get these intersect points to touch. And I got so close before, but I was just so unprepared for it. They flew on by me. Uh, so let's, um... Now, I guess the RCS doesn't need electrical charge, but everything else basically does, so... 
Now, these are getting further apart from each other, it looks like. Hmm. Uh, this is not gonna... I don't know if that's gonna work. Are they getting... I can't really tell if they're getting closer together or not. And I'm burning through, and I'm, you know, burning my RCS field to do this. I, I, did, I mean, there's still a lot of it. But... These things don't have a lot of thrust. I mean, this this area over here is close. And I, I, is it gonna get? Are they getting close? They look like they're getting closer together. Separation. Uh, I guess that is that the how far apart they are. All right. Okay. Let's um that closer together. Okay. 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 We have a really close intercept right here of just a few hundred meters. Now I just have to wait it out till we get over there. And now what I'm going to do is when we get really close to each other, I'm going to be very careful. Although the separation seems to be changing. Maybe I can get it. Maybe I can uh, fix it a little bit. I think I need to, let's point retrograde, and I need to get that closer together. There we go. Okay, uh, time for more time compression. I'll try this again in a sec. Okay, we're approaching Melkal again. So let's point retrograde. And what I, I think what I need to do is when we get cl as close together as we can, you know, just try to burn off that speed. Although I don't know if that's going to work. I think we're moving too fast. Yeah, now he's moving away from me again. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think I have... I, I think if my thrusters were more powerful... Because look at how fast the speed is changing. I think if my thrusters were more powerful, then I could grab him. Oh, he's so close! God damn it! But I need... Uh, I just need to alter my spaceship a little. Oh, I feel like such a failure. I keep getting so close to him, but I can't freaking get it. I need to have uh, a slightly different spaceship design so I can have a little bit more fuel for, for maneuvering around because I just have to keep trying over and over and over again. So we're going to chalk this up as a failure and try again next episode. Oh, damn. If you've enjoyed this, drop me a like, leave me a comment, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Kerbal Space Program, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.